Howdy, my name's Cloudy. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got an animal video. I told y'all we coming back with these. <clears throat> and I kept my promise, you know what I'm saying? Today we got a video from Wattop called This Cat Doesn't Smell, Never Drinks, and Their Paws Don't Leave Prints. Bro, that sound like some damn like CIA animal type stuff, like 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 scientific laboratory made animal type shit, bro. So let's see what they. When you see about. this cute fluffy creature, you might think. And I don't even like cats. I like tigers, but not house cats. cats. You know what I'm saying? But don't be fooled by its size, thick coat, and cute fluffy cheeks. Sand cats are incredibly skillful and ruthless hunters. They eat everything they can find in the I've desert, which is full cats. of dangerous prey. There are, of course, bugs, centipedes, mice, and other rodents, hares, birds. But what about snakes? Among the nomads of the Sahara Desert, sand cats have a reputation for hunting snakes, especially horned vipers. They stun prey by rapidly striking its head with their paws and then finish it off with a strong bite to the back of the head. See, one thing I can say about cats, they're super fast. Their reflexes are superb. You know what I'm saying? And I, I do believe that I've I've already known that cats, usually the cats or dogs aren't afraid to go at a snake that's smaller than them. They're not afraid. You know what I'm saying? They're not scared of snakes. I think it's cats. You know what I'm saying? Because they they're got so fast reflexes. It, you know what that I'm the saying? snake doesn't even have their time to bite back. The same Might goes be quicker for scorpions. Than snakes. Yes, they can be deadly, but not for sand cats. They look kind of dope. Sand cats can eat scorpions if they end up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Sand cats are the only ones from the entire feline family who predominantly live in actual deserts. They prefer areas with sparse vegetation mixed with sandy and rocky areas. These places seem ill-suited for life. There's sand everywhere. It's hot during the day, Ugh, cold at night. But sand cats feel just fine. They can tolerate temperatures from 23 to 126 degrees Fahrenheit. Damn, that's a lot. To live comfortably in such conditions, degrees. sand cats settle in burrows left by foxes or rodents, expanding them if needed with their powerful but blunt claws. If there's no suitable burrow around, they may dig their own. Sometimes sand cats can be spotted lying on their backs near burrows during the daytime. It's believed that this is how these animals shed their internal heat. Today, scientists know that sand cats live in the Sahara Desert, throughout the Arabian Peninsula, and in parts of Central Asia, including Turkmenistan, Iran, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. But there's no certainty that this data paints a full picture. How come? Well, sand cats obviously don't want to be seen by anyone, especially by humans. For example, the Arabian subspecies of sand cats was spotted once in the UAE in 2005, and then no one heard about it for 10 years straight, like at all. Damn. It wasn't until 2016 when they managed to see and also take a picture of Arabian sand cats with the help of a camera trap. No wonder sand cats are called one of the most difficult cats to study in the wild. Bro, so do they mate with other, <clears throat> with other cats? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm pretty sure they do if they still alive. But I heard that cats can live for a very very long time bro like i don't know the exact age matter of fact bro we gonna go and figure this out bro we're gonna go figure where we at 229 bro we're gonna figure this out bro how long can cats bro i, I spell live wrong bro that's crazy 12 to 18 years bro this is so cap i swear i like i know of cats that's like a hundred and some years old bro a cat a cat is a domestic small carnivorous animal on a domestic cat that's not important okay bro domestic cats can live up to 20 years Factors such as diet, healthcare, and environment can have an impact. An average cat, an average cat's lifespan is between 13 and 7 years. Some lucky felines have been known to live 20 years or more. Are they saying these years in human years? Do cats and humans have different like age type year thingies, majiggies? Or just dogs? Bro, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. 
I swear I know cats that's like 100 years old, They're bro. They're truly elusive. There are several reasons for that. First, sand cats always carefully bury their excrement, and scientists simply can't find them, pick them up, and study them in order to understand what these desert predators eat. Second, they have fur on their paws. It protects sand cats from both hot sand and cold. The fur on the underside of the paws also acts as a cushion, which allows sand well, cats to so walk weird. on the sand without sinking. Just think about it. These that's little dope. cute cats capable of killing also, a horde that's why, a that's why you can't see their prints, because they got hair all over their, like, well, fingers, I guess you would call them. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just when they walking through it, it's just... It ain't, it ain't really doing nothing because of the hair. Also walk without leaving any footprints at all. No wonder researchers can't study them properly. It's hard to study Damn, someone bro, who's these present are the you best, can't like, even notice. Well, these third, are spy cats, already said, bro. Sand cats don't want to be noticed. These are spy cats. They've even been seen closing their eyes at night when people <clears throat> approach them. What for? To eliminate reflection and blend in completely with their environment. That's smart. And they just use their ears to know if the enemy's getting closer or not. Of course, being elusive helps cats during the hunt, but the ability to leave no footprints alone is not enough. So sand cats got a few more perks from evolution. When there's only sand around, it's quite hard to pick up the movement of the prey. Also, the dry, hot air absorbs the sounds. To solve this issue, sand cats Damn. listen with their huge, low-set ears on the sides so of their heads. Hear well, if sand gets into these large ears, it can harm cats, which is why the inside of the ear is covered with thick, white hairs, which probably act as protection against sandstorms. Bro, they like the perfect animal, bro. These are spy animals. Bro, they got everything that can potentially harm them. Their body has adapt to protect themselves from it. Bro. These are spy cats, bro. If I was governing, you know what I'm saying? I'm going out to look for these cats, trying to change their mind to where they listen to what I got to say so they could go and do some missions, bro. These are spy cats, bro. Their tympanic, meaty, and bully are enlarged. This also makes the hearing of sand cats sharper. As a result, these predators hear so well, they can detect bro. their prey even underground. Actually, digging what? is almost the key hunting strategy of sand cats. Many of the small animals that make up their diet live in burrows, which means sand cats have to get them out of there. Well, when you can dig a burrow 15 feet deep while being only 20 inches in size, Bro, there are no problems with digging feet? any lizards out of the sand. And since there's nowhere else to hide in the desert, the prey simply has no chance. By the way, digging helps sand cats not only build dwellings and catch lunch, if there's too much food, the predator carefully buries it in the sand to eat later. Another trick that helps sand cats be successful hunters is the way they move. When walking, they stay close to the ground. It's most likely safer to move like this because there aren't many objects in the desert to hide behind. But although the sand cat moves in such a strange way, it can run very fast if it has to. Imagine you'd need to move bro, quickly while bro. squatting. Do we got videos of these things the running place, and stuff? But for sand cats, that's easy. They actually have incredible stamina. If necessary, the sand cat activates a turbo mode and runs at a speed of 19 to 25 miles per hour. There are confirmed reports of sand cats that traveled six miles over one night, though this figure usually at averages speed? at three miles. Well, that's the best estimate scientists got for the creatures that leave no footprints at all. But if you think that escaping the heat in burrows is the best plan the animals can come up with, then you simply haven't heard about kangaroo rats. These rodents what? also live in very dry regions and not only dig holes, but also seal them off. To prevent hot air from getting inside and maintain the required humidity Wait, level. Wait, were we just reason, talking about the cat? Bro, nah, we were just talking about the cat, right? Bro. Oh yeah, we still talking about the cat, okay. Okay, I had to see, I had to see if we was talking about the cat still, bro. Cause bro just went on to a whole different species. Rats bury their noses in the fur during sleep to lose less moisture. They usually get all the moisture from the seeds they feed on. These seeds look dry, but kangaroo rats can extract 0.02 ounces of water from every 0.04 ounces of seeds eaten. And to make Damn, the so moisture never sometimes by as much as 30%, they store it underground. Another secret is that their cheek pouches and mouth are separate. What is, what is this so have to do with the cat, rats though? don't waste saliva while foraging for food. 
And in order to completely protect themselves from moisture loss, they spend 75% of their time in cool burrows. Well, when I say cool, this doesn't mean that animals have climate control systems underground. By human standards, these cool Yo, burrows why are, are we talking about this, bro? We're getting back to the cat, bro. By the way, I almost forgot to mention another fact about sand cats. They don't meow. Strictly speaking, they really? don't make that many sounds in the first place. But if they do, they sound more like barking. Bro, no. This cat, bro, is... Bro, what? This cat, y'all, y'all can't tell me this cat is 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 the probably the best animal in the world right now, bro, bro. It don't leave prints. It's very hard to find because they're very good at hiding and keeping themselves hidden. They're super fast and can run for a long time. They can hear stuff underground in the desert. The desert got high winds and all that stuff. Don't forget that. And they don't even meow, bro. They only sound like cats. They sound like dogs. Bro, we have to catch one of these, man. I hope we catch one of these. And we probably did already. If we did, man, I got, man, I need to know more about this cat, bro. This cat, bro, this cat is dope, bro. Yes, we have barking cats. And it look dope, They too. bark in order to find a mate. This sound is compared they with those made find by a mate. small dogs, like a chihuahua. But in the desert, there are very large distances between sand cats, so they bark very loudly, especially loud? for their size. However, being big when you live in the desert is not the best strategy. Being small makes more sense help survive in the heat the repels fox knows this very well its small body dissipates heat better as a bonus repels foxes also excrete very concentrated urine to conserve moisture by the way kangaroos are those the concentrate enemies? their urine to almost a crystal like consistency sand cats haven't yet reached this point as far as i know we still don't know a lot about these animals but they also adapted to the lack of water they can almost live without it. Sand cats can survive for weeks without taking a single sip, getting all the moisture they need from their prey. Oh, no. Bro, these cats are amazing, bro. Hide here. Not all desert animals are lucky to have such adaptations, and that's why donkeys came to their rescue. Yeah, donkeys and horses. What? A study published in 2021 in the Science Journal reveals that when wild horses and donkeys dig wells, they increase water availability for other species. Groundwater uh. then becomes accessible to all creatures of arid regions, including badgers, mountain lions, and birds. Almost 60 in species in total. Some wells apparently even help the desert trees grow. Overall, these wells are such a benefit to desert flora and fauna hey, that man, wild horses shout out and to donkeys them, man. can be considered real heroes. In 2015, hey, for real, shout, hey, shout out to the donkeys and stuff, man. They keeping the they keeping the environment the environment. You know what I'm saying? Donkeys even saved the life of a man yeah. who got lost in Death Valley. The hiker didn't know where to go, felt very thirsty, and survived oh. only because he followed a group of feral donkeys. They brought the poor fellow to a source of water where he waited for a week. He survived, but only thanks to the donkeys. So I'm officially giving donkeys the title of good boys of this video. Hey, yeah, for real, they really, yeah. Give them a round of applause. As you already yeah. realized, animals in the desert actually try very hard to get water. We've already talked about much of this, but here's another interesting example. This is a Namib desert beetle. Man, I'm looking for the cats. I'm looking for the cats. Sorry, I'm skipping this because I'm here for the cats. Due to full skill when you live in the desert. I'm here for the cats. And cat. you know, throughout the entire video, I can't help thinking that living in such conditions is just terrible. This I'm going to know more about this cat, bro. Not only with predators and rivals, but also with the forces of nature. Yeah. However, desert animals actually live just like other animals in different habitats. I wonder However, what an ecological the cat, the sand cat, University is. compares this like, to the life of a What are they running the from? You know what I'm saying? Is it difficult for fish to swim? Yeah, it looked like it seemed like some people mistake them for good pets. 
So sand cats can't live in captivity. Move to another place. Well, or die out, because that's how natural selection works. Many desert animals need heat to thrive. If you pick oh, he was just talking about like environment that we might how the animals are in the pleasant, desert, like a temperate forest. Like how they, most of them, how they are. Just suffer. You know what I'm saying because nobody's out there. But so them. sand cats can't live in captivity. They always feel bad outside of their usual habitat and even get sick all the time. Oh, Some damn. people mistake them for good pets because, well, they're so small and fluffy and seem harmless. Wait, so that's a big mistake. As you already realize, sand cats are ferocious predators. And although humans aren't on their menu, cats can still cause serious injuries. Sand cats are wild animals that can't be tamed, even if you adopt one as a kitten. So let the desert yeah, predators stay that, in the so. desert. It'll be better for all of us. Hey, Let's man. Bro, I need to find out more about that cat. Y'all can't tell me this cat ain't one of the best cats. Bro, this is probably one of the best animal videos I've made, bro. If I'm being real with you, bro. That, bro... Because me, personally, I don't really like cats, like house cats. I like my favorite animal is a tiger, which is ironic because I don't like house cats. But I like dogs, but I like tigers. That's my favorite animal. That You know, because the way they are and stuff, I feel like it's just like me. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, I don't like house cats. So to see a house cat size, you know, animal, or I think it's bigger it looked like a house cat though, but this is probably a cat that I would want. But then again, they say it's not safe to have one, so I can't get it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I gotta find another video on this one, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all enjoy y'all day, man. Leave a like if y'all enjoyed this video. More animal videos coming out, like I was telling y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be more animal videos like this coming out, because I wanna learn about some more animals. It's a lot of new animals that's popping up still to this day, and I would love to know what they are about. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I'll see y'all in the next one.